Good, kitten internet. Um, it is, in fact, another day. You cannot see the good kittens that are flanking us right now. There's Zone to my left. There's Isun to my right. Isun is loafing and staring at me. Zone is sitting like a lion. Where did we last leave off? We're going to do plots. Yeah, I know that. Oh, right. But... We are uh, at the um, star yard. Oh, we're finding... Orbiting the moon. Yep. I remember now. Put my keyboard over so I don't elbow you by using it. Oh, don't put my arm around you so, so it's not in the way. And Zun's going to be in the way. I remember now. There's bolt spacers and, and ecliptic. ecliptic here. And it looks like the ecliptic are taking out the spacers. I'm starting to remember things now. I mean, it probably doesn't help that shortly before this, I was basically also playing Starfield with my other character in the soul system. But not doing this. I don't stock up on junk. Why not? And let her carry some of the junk. Yeah, I can do that. Quick save. We still need to find coming. any sign of bye for now. Why? Yes, this is where my character died because if you have any we care, entered combat to as I started to, to talk help. to her and got uh -huh. stuck. It would not let me exit conversation and because Sarah couldn't take out the enemy by herself, um, I died. Because I couldn't do anything. Great job, Bethesda. As usual. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to not give her things that I don't want her to accidentally equip. Yeah, I don't know if they will equip... Spacesuits, I don't know. Weapons that I'm specifically not wanting her to equip right now. Mine's health in 02 and 35 DR. It is safe to give... By the way, you can stack some types of apparel. Mm -hmm. um, hats work as long as your outfit doesn't also already have a hat. Mm -hmm. That'll have to do. I just wish I could buy hats. Or I've seen people walking around okay. New Atlantis with really um, cool hats and I want them. I believe you can buy hats at Ryujin Industries. Ooh. There's my incentive to join. You don't need to join to buy it. It's on the ground floor. Oh, okay. You can just walk in, but you have to go to Neon. I have an errand in Neon anyway. Okay. Neon is an interesting place. I don't think this character is going to end up going very often unless if there's, like, plot that would take me there type of thing. Because it's not really the type of place this character is going to go very often. Oh, we're still... So learning what sort of person we are. Oh, no. I've already decided some things. This is a very honest person. Now, honesty doesn't necessarily mean always telling the truth. I'm referring to honesty as generally nice and straightforward person. Which is not the type of person that thrives in Neon. Search and rescue key. Oh, and Bethesda did the Bethesda thing again, and keys are stuck in your inventory. Yeah. You can't even put them in containers. Yeah. Like you could in Skyrim. In Skyrim, in Skyrim you can't drop keys on the ground, but you can put them in containers. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's nobody over here. I did not open that, Sarah. So many chemistry jokes. Okay, there's actually nothing in there. I will grab my I guess. I do not like that. Oh, 
Okay, so there's nothing else over here. Might as well go back out. Like, you can tell from the hidden bar that there's nobody nearby, because it should be randomly starting to show little bits of green or orange. And it's not. Why is there a loaf of bread sitting in somebody's cubicle? Maybe they're planning on making sandwiches. Maybe. And I think this is the kind of thing where you use an entire loaf of bread and you make one sandwich. Ah, uh, by cutting the loaf in half. Got it. That bread would be sliced. Maybe they're still going to cut the loaf in half. Sarah, why did you sit down there? Are you just tired? Do you have anything valuable? Not really. Such a weird combination of old and new technology. Okay, so the only point to this area was a little bit more loot? Yeah. Weird. But okay. Yes, I know I'm supposed to walk this way. You can always just toggle the quest off. Yes, but I want to vaguely know where I need to go, not a literal path most of the time. Is somebody over here? Yep, you see that horse? Yep. Really? Really, Bethesda? I tried to do this the normal way. There's at least one other. Yes, that's still obnoxious. Why are you asking me to surrender? You were dead. And I'm not. Don't mind me, just collecting some ammo. Yes, and succulents. You know, there's a lot of people missing one rose gold earring with a sapphire center. I think this is the only one I've seen. I have seen multiple. Given that I've seen this exact message before. Mm. And this is my first time here. Well, I would assume it's the same person missing it since the... Uh, equivalent of email address is yeah. probably the same as well. This is true. You definitely know your way around a lock. Yes, I do. Well, that was only a novice lock in my very yeah. easy. Novice locks are super easy. We'll take all of your ammo. I suppose your beer. I cannot flip in the paper direction.
Okay, we know there's at least one other person still out there. But I'm going this way now. This area has seen better days. Like, I understand that a base on a moon surrounding a planet that's no longer useful for people is... You passed up some caps. I tried. Okay. And Sarah's knocking everything over. As I was saying, I understand that there's less of a use of a space station on a moon of a planet that's no longer useful, but... Why abandon it like this? Like, having a space station itself is generally useful. And when it's no longer useful, you deorbit it or use its resources, which are rare and... Ah. And this is old enough where humanity definitely still needed the resources. Inconsistencies. Yeah, there's so many facilities left over from the colony wars. Yes. It almost makes it feel like the war was just an excuse to add so many things. I mean, it could be. But there are actual reasons for the colony war. I haven't really gotten into that yet. Yeah, you find more of them with. Um, Exploring the Free Star Collective area. Which I haven't been to much of. Mm -hmm. My other character is a deputy of the Free Star Rangers. Oh, the Dragon Rangers. These Rangers are cool. Yes, but they're referring to the Texas Rangers. It's not as cool as all the Rangers. Mm hmm. Although, I, the Free Star Collective is growing on me. Just interacting with that area. They seem to be nice people. I didn't expect them to be nice people. Nor did I. Hollers Navigator Pack. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Vera, I know how to play the game. You know how to loot the corpse. Yes. I mean, everybody should know how to loot a corpse by the time they're at this point in the game. You would have to have done it multiple times by now. Ah, I was actually expecting them up there. I suppose I'll take the sculpture. Getting further away from them. Cube. Okay, now I'm getting closer again. Ugh, black licorice. Can you tell which one of us is Norwegian and which one of us is American? I'm not sure if I would like a black licorice soda. Whereas I think it tastes bad. This game definitely has a lot of succulents for some reason. And pretty much only succulents. Oh. I did not even notice that area. The next closest one is significantly far away. Like, this is definitely sign a party cup. Is that what I think it is? 
It's a blue solo cup. Mm -hmm. Which in Europe is referred to as a party cup and nowhere else. Right, this character doesn't have a disadvantage to healing. My other character does. Big down sign. Alien DNA. Yep. Admittedly, it's not a particularly large downside, to be honest. No. So it reduces healing by about... Um, so healing in this game is generally referred to in terms of percentage, where a med pack will heal 5% of your maximum hit points. With the um, alien DNA ability, it heals 4%. Isn't it 5? Per second, for a number of seconds. Yeah. I meant as in the base rate. So, no. med pack. No, it is 4%. I'm sorry, med pack is labeled as 3% for the other one. And we don't have the higher level ones because we're probably not high enough level for them to spawn. Cube. I don't know what it is about having those cubes around. Apparently, the future loves cubes. Coffee. Now that part's not surprising. And succulents. I still think that they must have only rescued succulents from Earth. Or succulents are the only plants that thrive in space? That's uh, definitely not no. the case. You would expect at least a philodendron because those things live everywhere. Ear grub paperweight. Sure. Sarah? You literally blocked the hallway on me. Why? So far, I am not a huge fan of Sarah's behavior as a companion. And I don't mean her responses or anything like that, but she's coming way too close to my character at all times. Do all of the... I mean, Vasco didn't do that. Do the other companions do that? I haven't noticed that Sarah is particularly bad. Okay. But then again, I've mostly been playing with the Adoring Fan. Right. And the Adoring Fan is always in the way. Even though it says he's... Oh. He is always in the way. He says, I am a, like a mole at the nape of your neck. Always there, but never in the way. <laughs> I think he's adorable. You can be adorable and creepy at the same time. That's very unusual. Yes, but it's possible. Yes. He's not the only one who's achieved that. Mm hmm. Alright. Are any of these better? It's such a penalty to my stats. That one actually kind of looks nice, but... Right. Time to go up to the workroom. Does work happen in the workroom? Oh yeah, I forgot to set a timer. Uh, let's see, we have been... 20 minutes. Can you set a timer for 20 minutes? Thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. I meant 40 minutes. I did say 20 minutes. That's totally on me. And I will make it 40. Okay. That's... Okay. There we go. Now we're back into better position. 
all these novice locks. Yeah, I don't even save before doing a novice lock anymore. since I traveled with Vladimir Sol. So, there's a thing about, um... Ooh, I was seeing more here. That means that this must be either... Is it up and now I'm not seeing it all? Weird. I've seen you. Yeah. Or I've seen Sarah. Oh. They must be out there. Yep. Which is not particularly useful for me killing them. Yep. Oh, hi. That was the one that was close by that I couldn't figure out. This is gonna end badly for you. No, because there's a window there, Sarah. Window. Um, what was I saying prior to Sarah doing dumb things? I don't remember. Uh. Oh, um, there's a trend in a lot of Bethesda games where higher difficulty locks hide better equipment. Mm -hmm. That is not the case in this game. Equipment seems to have, or whatever is behind the lock door seems to have nothing to do with the quality of the lock. Which is kind of annoying, actually. It means oftentimes you will have a really difficult lock and it hasn't been worth... Yes, I know I'm visible because of the stupid windows. Um, what you might find behind a door with a high-quality lock might not be worth Ooh, it. My friend Ruby. Yes. I will, of course, collect my friend Wilby. Along with the space cats and space dogs. Yes, you need a diversion. How about not trying to shoot through the damn window? Anyways. Level 12. Going to end you. Yep. Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. I must be able to burn. Yes, you are. You're also in my way. Um, one more within range. I know there's three on the radar. That's sometimes misleading. Well, that does mean that there are three more around. That doesn't necessarily mean there's three more active. Sounds like they might be down there. Sounds very robotic. Yeah, they have a voice modulator built into their uh, spaces. To make them sound more impressive? Yeah. Or to do a better Darth Vader compression? Uh, it's probably for the intimidation factor. I'm sorry, I don't find things that I can one shot be very intimidating, personally. Hmm. It's a 
hot. Heart medication. One of the eclectic mercenaries must have some heart problem. This is obviously the only answer. Yeah. Mochi yeah, multi pack. Your hauling is seriously slowing you down. Oh, it isn't. Not even close, Sarah. Cheese and grapes. Not to mention, I'm mostly hoarding this so you don't accidentally pick up a damn mine. That's a calibrated rebel. That might be better than what she has right now. We still need to find any sign of Vanguard Moara. Feel free to drop some stuff into my bag. Nope. She had the Furious Grendel, although the modified calibrated Grendel is better. So I will give her that. Now I'm curious to see what she'd equip. You get all the Grendels. And apparently one Equinox. Whatever. Bye. Sarah, are you actually going to equip anything? Old star yards and other abandoned stations in space are always home to some... I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. Hey, you still have ammo. Let me guess. Now, nah, yep. She tried to equip the one thing she didn't have ammo for. Mm -hmm. And just didn't equip Same. anything instead of equipping something she had ammo for. Just, uh... Nope. It'd be really nice if I actually had a quiet weapon. I don't. not where I'm going, though. Gotta get the coffee, obviously, and the credits. Intelligence is incredible. As in, it cannot be believed. It is lacking in credibility. Yup. Like, seriously, Bethesda? You can do better than this. You have done better than this, for that matter. the way back to the start. Yep. Yeah. Collect all the ammo. This is not back to the start. This looks like the type of place that you'd hide something I care about. Or absolutely nothing. No. Either one. 
Also, the type of place I get stuck at. Yes, I know I'm out of oxygen. Nope. There's nothing here. There totally should be. Even if it's just a stuffed pillow. Yes. Well, especially if it's a stuffed pillow. Yeah, I if must be very over right by your ship, you can pop in and drop off some things. In theory. I'll just walk very slowly for a bit to allow my oxygen to recharge. Around all that gear. Well, how about you take we some, still need Sarah? To find any... Bring me anything useful? No. Now you're overburdened. And I'm not. Goodbye. And you have decided to not hold a weapon. Old star yards and other time to go? Okay, you are still equipping one. All right, back here again. There is still somebody here, but they're not that close. Or maybe they just can't hear. Maybe they are that close and they're just walking around. Maybe they're inside of here. just teleported behind there because you no longer have working legs. I'm just going to eliminate you. Nobody else here. It's not anywhere close by. And I've built a workbench and a research lab. Anything I can donate to the research lab, I doubt it because I keep turning everything into Sarah's inventory. Yeah, I need tetrafluorides. And I cannot do anything else without perks. I don't like research being locked behind perks. Or if it is behind perks, it shouldn't cost resources to do. One of the two. Mm -hmm. It's like they're double dipping and yeah. penalizing you for wanting to do research. Yeah, it's taken a lot of resources to get through. You did leave that already, right? Pretty sure you did. Yeah. Like, I finally managed to level up and get the perk I needed and have, oh, you need all of these resources, too. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. Okay. So he's not here out of all of this. He's almost daring the spacers to come after him. It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all. So all of that, and we just have to go someplace else. Yep. Oh, 
Thanks, Captain. Hey, Vasco. Yeah, the thing about Vasco being stationed outside of the ship is kind of uh, weird because when my ship take takes off, it looks like Vasco is standing on the ground. Uh, that is better than the original version where Vasco was standing on top of your ship You've got the stars as you took off. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. So we're going to Neptune. Yep. But let's... Take a perk. I was going to say, drop off crap Ooh. from our inventory. Our ship is not full, after all. About to be. But it's not. Especially when you uh, take the stuff back from the I think I dropped the entire aid cap. Nope. Definitely didn't. Oh. The filters work the way they're supposed to. Oh. Yay, Star UI. Yeah, in the default UI, it's only resources where you can drop all. Mm hmm. And if you drop all in the weapons category, it will only drop the weapons that you don't have favorited. Which is what I did. So, favorite the weapons that you care about. Neptune. Is that a course? Or Neptune? Labeled as Moira's ship. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Anchor to civilian ship. Come in. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. It's not me. Mark's hijacked my ship. Might find a couple of them, but they've locked me down. Where they could use an assist. We blow that ship out of the stars. He's dead in our art. Yeah, that would be nice if I had the ability to target them. Mm -hmm. And my shields are down because I'm a sitting duck. Because this game doesn't have a great way of evading things. Shields and Grav Drive are down for them. If I hit you any more, it's going to destroy the ship. What am I supposed to do? That's Stop not the team. way that's supposed no. to work. No, it's supposed to blow up at this point. But... Yes. If you're going to have a tutorial mission, actually have it be relevant. This is dumb. I do not like this mission. 
like at each step sarah keeps locking my controls when i'm in the spaceship where i can't move around and then saying something or like, asking me to do things that i don't have the perks for yeah like do they expect you to have the perk to do that i certainly doubt it because the perk to do that is targeting systems yeah it's here certainly possible that that is but yes fewer than half of characters will have it probably i still don't have it i don't either somebody's already taken the med kit i mean it's really only relevant if I intend to board a ship instead of blowing it up. And I yeah. I need to blow up more ships for my pilot certification. That's the other thing, is that pilot certification should not be based off of blowing up ships. Like, that one really doesn't make sense. Chunks cake. Eight flavor chunk. Yep. Um, through here. Yeah. Okay. Was that you? So much for being able to stealth. Because it's not actually possible at this point in the game to be able to open doors without making noise, unless... It... Unless if you ignored plot for a while, I suppose. So, like, when I open this door, it's going to make enough noise for me to be seen, no matter where I'm standing. Watch! A little bit of cold never hurt anyone, right? Come on. It's compromised. Any one left? I can't see. Ah. Yes, I am aware. So for reference, um, what just happened is that there was an explosive canister over here that got blown up. And that's the reason why I had environmental damage. Um, environmental damage, the way it works in general, is that your ship or your suit slash your character has some amount of resistance. Once you go through that resistance, which is usually a timer based thing, you are now susceptible to injury when that happens. Afflictions. Afflictions. Yes, that's the better way of phrasing it. And in this case, I... Need some heal gel. Yep. I specifically have the affliction blisters. This really doesn't do all that much, to be honest. Melee attacks doing less damage. I hardly ever do melee attacks. Neither do most characters, because the game forgot to actually add in any useful melee weapons beyond starting. Yeah, I've noticed that uh, guns come in... Standard and then refined or calibrated, refined, advanced. But melee weapons don't seem Correct. to have any of that. Which means that your starting, uh, what you see for your starting mate. Oh, right, I can't heal in that view. What you see for your starting melee weapons are all you get. There's a couple of other unique types of melee weapons, but they're not good. Like, you'll even see the enemies, when they use a melee weapon, still use a rescue axe, which you can start the game with. It's... bad.
Speaking of, that's a melee weapon. Don't pick up the key, because then you'll be stuck with it forever. Uh, I'm stuck with so many keys, it's irrelevant. Kitty cat. Since the this door is, is already not... open, that door was locked for me. Kitty cat, this is not comfortable. You need to not be there. This is bad for my wrists. Yeah, could you? I can't. Like, it happened automatically. Uh, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Um, who were those people? Why'd they hijack a ship? Ecliptic mercs. They'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. I think enough of them finally got fed up and they pulled their money to hire professionals. Reaching a hostile ship and saving lives. My kind of party. Oh, I know that kind of talk. You two marines? Constellation, actually. What? Seriously? Man, I've heard stories, but I had no idea you all were this <laughs> We've heard stories, too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? <laughs> I'm gonna groan on behalf of scientists everywhere. Then you're going to hand over the artifact. Hey, sorry. I just didn't know what it was. But I guess that's what you all are I mean, for, right? I know, yeah. Here, happy to trade a novelty for a rescue any day. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. You get rescued, I take your stuff. Now where's the... Okay, Captain's Locker is empty here. Where to you next? I'll drop you off. I don't like Sarah. I can't quite keep my finger on why I don't like her. I think I get the feeling that Bethesda tried to make her likable too hard. Well, I know she's romanceable, so that's probably part of it. Right. And on some some level, I do like her, but I don't like him. No. Okay. Let's get back to the launch. Well, first, first, let's double check to see if we have any any quests in the solar system. Yeah. Doesn't look like main quests. Uh, joining the Vanguard is actually UC, but that's back at um, New Atlantis. What is the vultures first? That's a specific location. No, that's not the actual location game. How about you tell me again? I hate that bug. I hate it so much. It doesn't work the first time. Huh. So that's where the vulture's roost is. I don't think I've gotten that quest. Uh, both of my characters have it. And Do you remember where we picked that up? Early, early in the game. I've had that for a while. I think that might have been um, something on the mission board. Anyway. Um, yeah, unless if we go sneak in for Mantis, which is no, not here. No. Let's, let's go finish up. Yep. Uh, we don't actually have a quest for it. Huh. The old neighborhood. Bottom. Oh, yep. You're right. I was just going to be lazy and let it collect things. So yeah, um, the glitch as far as I can tell is that... Um... Yes, yes, I know. 
Rocket Ship has such bad engines. Um, the glitch is that if you have an active quest when you enter the map, then change missions and tell it to give you where the location is, it uses your first mission. You are mm. United Colony Space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Alright, we're done. You're cleared to land at New Hitler. Right to the lodge, please. Grab all of the stuff from Sarah. Is she not available after this? Back to the lodge, shall uh, we? Have some. Yeah, she remains available, but we're not gonna want to have her with us. Bye bye. I should have grabbed uh, and pulled Pasco to get off the ship, so he would be right here. Well, it's time for us to put another artifact up. Go ahead. Do the honors. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. It's like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. She has four pips in Astrodynamics? Uh, I mean, I got told that all of the um, Constellation NPCs are significantly more powerful than the other NPCs in the game. I didn't realize it was that big of a difference. So, for an idea, most NPCs in the game only have three abilities, and at most they'll max out at three pips of a low-level ability, or two pips of a higher-level one. Sarah has four pips of an ability that I can't even currently learn. Isn't Astrodynamics a first tier? Is it? I thought it was a second tier. No, Leadership definitely isn't first tier. We're going to do great things together. Yeah, I know together. Botany is first Ooh. tier. No, it's second tier. By the way, is it? Oh, yeah, that's how would right. you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are in you, and I want you out there as well. You. Why not somebody who's been here longer? Oh, we'll be working with everyone here at the Lodge sooner or later. Constellation is all in on this. Sometimes we'll partner up, sometimes we'll go solo. It's not a formal arrangement. We just came back with... Got a per Fair few personal errors. But before you go, let me tell you about our other leads. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. That was quite the... A lot of XP. And credits. So, I know from the family name Co who Sam Co is. Mm hmm because it's hard to avoid that when you go to Aquila City. Um, but who's Vladimir? We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. Um, what can you tell me about Barrett anyway? His mind is always somewhere. But there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. Uh, what about Sam Co? Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. 
I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. Uh, how about some personal questions? Then it's fine. Go ahead. I don't think there's anything. Nope. Well, it was... Oh, okay then. ...listed as there would be something new. I don't... What do you think I should it's do first? It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. But there's a space station in orbit around Jemison. And you're telling me to go off all the way to Vector again. Maybe another time. Your mom dropped your mom dropped by. We had a nice chat. She uh left this note for you. Stay safe, okay? You left a note for me? Do I have it? No for note from Mom. Dearest Brainick. I was going through your storage unit the other day and I came across something that made me think of you. I know you're important and you're busy, but I'd really love it if you visited. I miss you! Well, I think we need to go visit Mom. Yeah, well, our primary is about that. Which is a good reason to go visit Mom right now. How long do we have left? Three minutes. Yeah, we can visit Mom. Although, as first I'm going to drop things off. Yes. Good enough. checking on weapons I guess this should probably be favorited at this point but it's equipped so it's not going to get yanked out of my inventory uh, just transfer all of them that seems like a good combination of Maybe things drop the other maelstrom? yeah drop the other maelstrom um, yeah I can't use keyboard I can only use mouse Okay. You um, have multiple spaces. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's a nice spacesuit, equipment wise, but it has no abilities on it, and I really like the plus 40 carrying capacity. As for this, I could switch over to a basic boost again instead of power boost. Or I can go with these, which are heavier and roughly equivalent. I think I'll take the space... Oh, right, I can't equip that way. As I was about to say, I think I'll equip that and then get rid of the rest. I think I'll actually wear the Constellation Helmet. Vesta, oh. will you please not change controls based off of where I'm at? That would be great. Because B is not equipped anywhere else. Okay. Uh, looks good. Go talk to mom really fast. Do I have a mission for that? I don't think I do. Nope. And play the mission. Yep, that's fine. Mom lives in residential, which is the district we're currently in. No, we're in the mass district. Not according to that. The launch is in the mass district. And why? Whatever. I know mom's in residential. In Pioneer Tower. Yep. Remember when I didn't remember which tower her parents yep. lived in? Yep. 
I mean, I don't necessarily remember which one's Pioneer off the top of my head, but I at least remember it's Pioneer Tower now. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, don't care. Yes, I'm aware. It would be nice is if there was a map of this place. Mm -hmm. There is a mod that replaces some of the uh, yeah. advertisements with the map of the city. Yep, and I have seen that, and I've thought about installing the mod. Ryan Tower... And I'm running toward the Mass District. Where is it? I don't remember. Are we sure it was actually in Residential District? I'm not sure of that. Might be in the Commercial District? I mean... Centauri Arsenal is in a residential district, and that's a yeah. town. A, a town? shop. I'm tired. <laughs> Lodge is there. Why am I not seeing one for commercial district? Yeah, mass district is that way, but the lodge is that way. The lodge is not in the mass district. The mass district map marker is for the nav station of the mass district. Back to a basic boost pack. How about we end the episode here and then we start when I suppose you're in the embassy district now. All right. I'll talk to you all later. We'll see you again when we find out yep. where our parents live. Bye, Internet! At least I remembered the name of it this time. Also, the camera decided to change colors on us.